Let's go and make some pencil holders. These are so easy to make along with also a lot of fun and my favorite one to go and make is definitely this little crab in the back. So let's get started. For these pencil holders, we're going to be using some Sculpty non-baked clay. Now this is just air dry clay, which is great. So you don't have to go and do that extra step of putting it into the oven. All you do is just let it dry. And then after that, you can go and paint it. My favorite thing about this clay is before it fully and totally dries, you can go and use water to go and wet it a little bit so it's easier to go and sculpt. Now this is pretty hard to go and move around so I'm going to dip this into a little bit of lukewarm water. I'm going to mix it around and after a couple times of folding this it should be ready to go and use. Now we're going to go and take this clay and we're going to go and roll it into an oval shape. It should be rounded at both ends and have a little bit of thickness in the middle. Let's go and press that down and now we're going to go and start to sculpt this so Go and lift up one end, just a small amount. Use your fingers to go and lift it slowly, along with also don't really make it too thin. This is going to be the head for our capybara. Now with your finger towards where the head is, we're going to go and press down. And this is going to be where the pencil, pen, or whatever you're going to use is going to be held. Now we're just going to continue to press that a little bit more, use some water, and start to smooth everything out. Now that everything is smoothed out, let's go and stick down some ears. So these should be half circles. Go and take your finger just to go and smooth it out. And after it's smoothed down, we're going to use a metal sculpting tool just to go and press it into place and also smooth it out a little bit more. Let's move over to the other side, make the other ear and do the same exact thing by using your metal sculpting tool just to smooth everything out and make sure it's all connected. After both of the ears are down, we're going to go and make some little tiny nostrils. So move to the front end of your capybara, take a metal tool, go and create two little lines that are down. They should be pretty small. And now this guy is ready to go and dry. So let's go and move him off to the side. And now we're going to grab a little bit more clay. So now we're going to go and make a crab. Now this is a lot of fun to go and make. And what you need is you need almost a diamond shape. This is going to be for the body. So we're going to go and take our clay. We're going to wet it a little bit and we're going to go and sculpt it into this diamond shape after it's rolled out. Now that we have this diamond shape, we want to make sure that the ends are pointy and that the body is just slightly flat. We don't want it to be too flat though. We want the top to be pretty flat, but have a small curve for the bottom. Now let's go and make some eyes. We're going to take these little tiny pieces of clay get them wet and then stick them down. It should pretty much be a little tiny stick with a very small circle on the end. Now we're going to take our metal sculpting tool, just put a little line to go and indicate where the shell is, go around with a half circle for where the eyes are. And after we have that down, put a small indent for the bottom and just go and flatten that out. Now let's go and make some claws. So we're going to need just a small piece here. It should be semi-rounded at the end. We're going to take this other piece here and we're going to go and sculpt it into the claw. You're going to want two little points, one larger, one a little bit smaller, and it should be round at the end. Now I made this just big enough so what I can do is I can take this and split it in half. So let's split this in half. And now you have both of the claws. After this is split, we're going to go and put it onto the body of the crab. Just like you did for the eyes, if you need to get the end wet, do so, but we're going to stick that down and let's stick down the other one now. And we're going to use the body to go and support these arms. Now let's make some little legs. These are going to be rounded at the middle area and then pointed at the end. So let's go and roll all of these out. Now we're going to go and just stick these to our little crab and it's the same exact thing that you did for the eyes along with also the little arms. If you need to wet them, definitely do so. You wanna make sure that these stick very well. Now let's let this dry. So now we're going to go and make a slug. This is going to be along the lines of a banana slug. What you do is like you would go and make a snake, you would just go and roll this out, leave it nice and rounded at one end, and we're going to go and point it towards the other. When we get to the end, we're going to go and squiggle it just a little bit. So just give it maybe one or two bends. And after you have that bent, and it doesn't have to be too close of a bend, but it has to be bended just a little bit, we're going to go and move over to the eyes. Now the eyes are really easy to make. You just go and pinch one side, pinch the other side, 
flatten the inner center portion, and we're going to go and just use a small amount of water to go and smooth this all out. Press your pencil in place just to go and create an indent, and we're going to go and let this dry. Now that our crab is dry, which it did take just about four to five hours for it to fully dry, but I waited for it to dry for 24 hours, now we can go and paint it. I decided that I wanted to go along the lines of almost a blue crab, so I'm painting the shell blue, and then I'm going to go and paint the bottom portion of it, almost like a flush tone mixed with a small amount of yellow. Now let's add some eyes, so I'm just putting these right at the sides, and at this point, after everything has dried, you can go and seal it if you would like to. Now onto our slug friend. So we're just going to go and paint this yellow because I wanted it to be a banana slug and banana slugs are usually yellowed. So let's just paint the whole body. This is definitely the easiest one to go and paint and the simplest one to go and make. Now for the eyes at the tip, we're just going to go and paint that white. Wait for it to go and dry while it's drying. Let's paint on a very small little mouth and then two little tiny eyes. Now onto our capybara. So we're going to go and paint this an off almost brown. This is going to be a lighter brown. We're going to paint the body first. Wait for that to go and dry. After it's dry, let's go and paint on some eyes. These are just half circles. Let's paint the nose while that dries. This is a gray that I'm using. Now let's put some little lines onto the body of the capybara. And after that is dried, let's go back to the eyes. We're going to go and outline this with some black. Put a little tiny pupil in the center. And after that has dried, let's go and move over to the nose. After that has been filled in and the paint has all dried, here's what everything looks like. These are just so incredibly cute and very convenient to have around, especially if you do a lot of painting. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, take care and have a good one.